Hello viewers, this is Miss Ali again from Tender Care Motostolic International, Cairo, Egypt. I'm here to teach on the subject phonetics and the uh, topic is silent E in A, U, I, and O. <clears throat> like in our previous classes, I told you that when something is silent, it doesn't make any sound. It does not make any sound even if it is there. So we are going to look at this E that is silent at the end of words. And because of that, it's affecting the vowel A, U, I, and O. If you are with me, let's go to the body of the explanation. We have that letter, silent E, at the end of words. So because it is at the end of the word, it changes the vowel A, it changes the vowel U, changes the vowel I, and the vowel O before it to say its name. Every letter has two ways you can say it. The name of the letter or the sound. The name or the sound. Okay, now we want to look at some of the illustrations here. We have A here. Because there is an E at this end, this A will change to its name. The letter A sounds A. Basically, when we're going to sound the word, we will use the sound, not the name. But in silent E, which is the topic we are discussing today, this letter will say its name. It's going to bear its name. Therefore, this word here, we have it at the back of our mind that is going to sound A here, not A. Now, let's look at it. Let's remove the E. This word, on its own like this, it is bath. Because A is saying the sound. But if we put the E, like I've said before, this is going to change to its name, not the sound. So it gives this word the name here, A. So we're going to say bathe. If you can notice, this E is silent. We are not going to say bathe or bathe. No, we're going to say bathe because it's silent. Here becomes A rather than A in sound. We're going to go to the next one, which is M A T E. Let's remove the E. We have M A T Max. When we put the E again, A we sound its name, not the sound we are used to. So we're going to say mate. So it's going to be mate. The next one, if we remove the E, we have cap. When we put the E, I know some of you would by yourself say cape. So it's going to be what? Cape. And this one, if we remove the E, becomes scan. When the E becomes cane. The last one here is when we remove the E, rat. With the E, rate. Now we want to look at the next vial that is affected by the silent E, which is the letter U. The letter U sounds A uh, as in umbrella, as in cup, as in bus, and ETC. But in this case, because there is a letter E there, U we sound O. It's not going to, it's, it's going to sound U rather than the A uh, we are used to. So, here, we're going to, if we remove it here, this E is going to be cut. But when we add the E, we have cute. We can hear the O there, cute. If we put, remove the E here, it's tub. When we put, when we put the E, we have tub, a uh, two, tube, sorry. We have two. 
The next one, crude, and the last one, plume. Now, let's look at how as the silent E affects the letter O. The letter O sounds up, but when there's a, the uh, letter E at the end of the word, this O will change to its name. Therefore, we are going to sound this as mope. This will be hope. This will be rope, hope, and pope. The last one is the letter I. The letter I sounds E. But when we have a silent E in the word that has a, a, an I, this letter I will not sound E, I told you. Again, it's going to bear its name. It will answer its name. And what is the name of the letter I? It's I. I. So we're going to have this as bites. Bites. This one will be kites. Kite. There is wine. Wine. And we have the last, next one, right. And the last one, sides. So these are some of the vowels that are affected by the silent E that makes them change from the usual sound we know them for to say their names. Now let's go back to summarize the class. I told you before in this lesson we discovered that the voice sound sometimes give a sound different from the one we are used to. Like O, we give a different sound. Like I, we give a different sound. U, we give a different sound. And A, we give a different sound. And these four letters in these lessons are going to sound their names. They are going to bear their names. They are going to sound like you are sounding them in when you recite the alphabet letters. You are not going to sound them in sound, they are not going to bear their sounds like these words in this these examples. We have bait, mate, cake, cane, rate. The next one, which is you, we have cute, too. We have crude, we have flume, we have mo, po, ro, ho, ho. And the last one, bite, kite, wine, ride, and sight. So this is how, when you have an E at the end of words, it affects these vowels. Always remember, the vowels, all these four vowels, A, U, O, I, will say their name as you say them when you are reciting the English alphabet. With this, we have come to the end of these lessons. If you have any question, can you raise your hand? Okay, in the absence of any question, I'm going to say it's, it's a good day and bye.